If you own a pet, chances are you spoil your furry friend rotten. Boatloads of treats, a basket of toys, and constant behind-the-ear scratches are part of their daily routines. However, not every cat and dog is so lucky. Countless lonely animals stalk the streets of every town, though most people turn a blind eye to this injustice. A handful of heroes, fortunately, are willing to step up to the plate and do some good. Even in the face of impossible odds, these two Californians put everything on the line to save an animal life. Ever see a cat stuck in an impossibly high place? If your knees tremble at the thought of climbing up there, don't fret. The world's best pet rescuers are just a phone call away. Sure, Eldad Hagar and Loretta Frankenite look like ordinary people, but these two gained a reputation as heroes all over Los Angeles. Their nonprofit, Hope for Paws, saved more animals than they could remember. Still, their job was as challenging as ever. On the surface, Hope for Paws is another organization that rounds up stray animals. However, these crusaders are no evil dog catchers. Loretta and Eldad go above and beyond the call of duty. Many rescues involve cats and dogs that have no happy home to return to. In these cases, Hope for Paws works tirelessly to find them loving families. However, one operation drove this crack team to their limits. In the peak of summer 2018, the phone lines at Hope for Paws headquarters were going haywire. People from all over Los Angeles called in, desperate to fill Eldad and Loretta in on a horrifying sight. Multiple drivers speeding through Le caught sight of a tiny dog asleep on the side of the busy road. At least they hoped she was only sleeping. Eldad and Loretta sprinted to their car the second they hung up. Fortunately, they found the terrier without too much trouble. She was still alive and alert, but the good news ended there. Covered in dirt and without a collar around her neck, the dog appeared to be all alone in the world. In addition, she was in massive danger. Besides the risk of crazed drivers who could veer off the road at any moment, the blistering Los Angeles sidewalks were almost hot enough to fry an egg. The Hope for Paws duo knew they had to get the pup off the sidewalk and fast. She seemed skittish when they got close, but Loretta had a tried and true ace up her sleeve. To gain the dog's trust, she held out a small chunk of cooked hamburger meat. The pup eagerly snarfed it up. Loretta held up a baggie with more tidbits inside, which the canine couldn't resist. However, the rescuers weren't ready to let the pup chow down just yet. Eldad and Loretta wanted to get her in a shady and enclosed area before they made their move, so they coaxed her down a nearby alley. The terrier entered without a second thought, but when she came to the dead end, she froze. No longer trusting Loretta and her meaty treats, the lost canine tried to flee. That was when Eldad stepped in. Channeling his inner roadhouse Patrick Sways, Eldad plopped down a section of fence in the alley. He authoritatively stood behind it, which meant that the skittish animal had nowhere to run. Loretta, to complement Eldad's bad cop routine, swooped in and comforted the terrier. After a few pats on the head, the dog allowed the rescuers to loop a leash around her neck. With that, the most blood-pumping part of the mission was over, though Eldad and Loretta knew the hard work was just beginning. This poor dog needed immediate medical attention, not to mention a nice home. They brought her to their veterinarian, who brought out a special microchip scanner. No tracking devices showed up in the dog's skin, which confirmed the team's theory that she didn't have any owners. Since she was in need of a name, Loretta dubbed her new friend Cindy Lou. The Hope for Paws team got her fed and cleaned, and Cindy Lou immediately perked up. She likely never experienced such kindness in her entire life. After taking a week or so to recover, Cindy Lou opened up like never before. Her tail wagged whenever anyone entered the room, and she graciously accepted any belly rubs. Eldad and Loretta took this as a sign she was ready for a permanent home. It wasn't long before Hope for Paws phones were going crazy again, but this time for a much happier reason. Eldad and Loretta bade farewell to Cindy Lou, who was off to meet her new family. These moments were always bittersweet for the animal lovers. Eldad happily took the chance to sit back and relax after that taxing rescue. Still, he recalled tougher missions that Hope for Paws had gotten tangled in years before. In particular, there was the case of one female Maltese poodle mix named Oakley. Oakley had trouble trusting people, and she managed to evade Eldad during the day. Unwilling to give up, Eldad returned at night with a new strategy. He had to be careful, though. If he scared Oakley too much, 
he ran the risk of her running away again, and she could die without help. After several minutes of sneaking around the quiet parking area, Elvig managed to move right behind the frightened pup, ready to make his next move. It wouldn't be easy, but he had to try. Things got really intense once Eldid finally secured Oakley with his leash. Immediately, she became terrified and started trying to run away as fast as she could. Eldid tried his best he could to maintain control. Amazingly, Eldid tried a technique that most people wouldn't think of. He didn't try to pull Oakley towards him or try to fight back against the dog's resistance in any way. Instead, he patiently ran behind Oakley while still holding onto her. All the while, Oakley was frantically barking, yelping, and growling at Eldad, but the rescue expert remained as patient as he possibly could. He wanted to wait for the little pooch to eventually wear herself out. It worked, whether it was because Oakley was exhausted, curious about the unusual situation, or even just starting to feel like she could trust Eldad, she stopped in her tracks and stared him. What happened next was actually quite beautiful. Eldad stopped and sat with Oakley and spoke softly to her, asking if they could be friends. It's okay, he said to her as he reached out to touch her. Sure enough, this method seemed to work absolute wonders. Oakley calmed down and she even allowed Eldad to pet her. His patience was starting to pay off, and the tiny frightened pup was starting to trust him at long last. You smell like you've been on the street for a long time. Eldad said as he gently loaded Oakley into the passenger seat of his car. Still, he kept petting her and showing her affection. Finally, it was off to get her some much-needed help. Eldad brought Oakley right into the shelter. Despite the fact that she no longer resisted and had calmed down considerably, she still must have been nervous and frightened by the new surroundings. Sitting still just showed how much she trusted her new pal. Eldad told Oakley that he needed to give her a bath, and she was willing to accept it. Sure, she seemed a bit uncomfortable with the experience, but she still allowed him to do what needed to be done. There was no telling how long Oakley had been out on her own in the streets, so the bath must have been long overdue. The dirt just washed right off of her. Boy, it must have felt amazing to be clean again. Eldad told Oakley repeatedly that she was a good girl, and she certainly deserved to hear it. Despite her initial behavior when Eldad was trying to catch her, she was really showing how sweet she was at heart. You're going to be white in a few seconds, okay? Eldad said softly to Oakley as he gently scratched her chin. Indeed, the little dog looked totally transformed by the bath. Just wait until you see her all dried off. Taking a bath must have been somewhat foreign to her, but that bath was exactly what Oakley needed. Once the little dog was finally clean and dry, it must have almost felt like a sort of rebirth for her. By the time that pampering was all said and done, Oakley looked like an entirely new dog. Her white fur was soft and fluffy again, and she finally looked like she was supposed to. Check out those adorable eyes. Eldid brought Oakley to his own home for some well-earned rest and relaxation. Once there, he continued to re-establish the sense of trust that she clearly lost as a stray. It was a delicate process, but Oakley was a willing learner. In time, Oakley not only proved to be happy and healthy, but also as playful as just about any dog out there. Each and every day, she became more confident and comfortable in her new surroundings. Strays often can't tell when someone's trying to help them, and so they quickly become aggressive or scared. Rescuers like Annie Hart from Rescue from the Heart and Eldad Hager from Hope for Paws know this all too well. When Annie received an urgent call about a homeless poodle who'd been hit by a car in South Los Angeles, she immediately enlisted in Eldad's help. Together, the two rushed to find the dog, hoping it wasn't too late. Annie and Eldad finally spotted her hunched along the side of a busy road. They knew they'd have their work cut out for them, but this dog's behavior shocked even them. Despite the dog's injuries, she didn't seem to want to fight them. Instead, she did something quite different, and it quickly brought her rescuers to tears. It simply wasn't what their staff were used to seeing. Layla, as she was later named, seemed so resigned to her fate that she sort of just played dead. It was as if she'd said, I give up. In response, Annie was eager to show her that she and Eldad meant no harm. Once Annie felt like Layla was ready, she gently secured a leash around the poodle's neck. Once again, whether it was because she trusted Annie or was just so weak, the homeless dog just didn't seem interested in struggling. Even once she had properly fastened the leash, 
Annie didn't want to rush Layla just yet. Rather, she continued to sit with the pup for a few moments longer. But then little Layla did something even more precious. While she was already clearly a calm dog, Layla decided to show off just how much of a love bug she was by offering up some wet kisses. Obviously, this was far from the usual routine for these animal rescuers, and it affected Annie in a way she didn't expect. In the midst of this bittersweet moment, she couldn't hold back the waterworks. Here was a dog who had suffered terribly and desperately needed help, but she still managed to show so much affection. Still, as powerful as those initial moments with Layla were, her story was just getting started. After a few more minutes, it was time to pick up the stray dog and take her to the hospital. She was as calm as ever as she rode shotgun all the way there. What she didn't know was how much of a transformation she was about to undergo. Once Annie and Eldad arrived at the hospital, Layla, still in desperate need of help, continued to display all the love she'd shown them before. She might have been frightened, but she never showed it. One of the first tasks on the agenda at the hospital was to almost completely shave her fur, which was matted and filthy. From there, they discovered their first real challenge. As the medical staff soon learned, Layla's intestines were severely damaged and her life was in immediate danger. They had no choice but to keep her at the hospital for the next two weeks and pray that she pulled through. Luckily, Layla was not alone. Every day of her hospital stay, she was visited by a foster family who was prepared to care for her until she could find her forever home. Apparently, these daily visits, as well as the constant and attentive care from the hospital staff, did the trick. Not a day went by that Layla didn't grow stronger, healthier, and happier. Soon enough, after those few challenging weeks of treatment and recovery, Layla was starting to let her personality shine through. Finally, the sweet, fun-loving dog beneath was on the up and up. Layla may have been missing her signature curly fur, but she wasn't going to let something like that stop her from appreciating the new and improved life ahead of her. As always, she was more than happy to shower everyone with kisses. Finally, Layla was ready to head home with her foster family. Eventually, she'd need to find herself a forever home, but for the time being, she was going to be well cared for at long last. 